Okay, hi guys, and welcome to this week's vlog. So today is moving day. Justin and I are moving into our very first house together. I know that we had our 500 square foot studio apartment and we loved it for what it was, but now it's time to upgrade to something much, much bigger. Um, so we have a lot of moving pieces today. Um, first of all, I worked four 12 hour night shifts back to back to back to back to back. Um, got off this morning, slept for like maybe two hours, and then we got up, took JoJo to daycare. So that's what he is. So you won't see him like for you know probably another 15 20 minutes anyway um we have movers coming and we also have people coming to mount the tvs and so when i was thinking um about like just was like oh like what else should i load my car up with and i was like well the tv mounting people are coming and i was like oh the tv mounting people are coming and we don't have two of the tvs that they're going to be mounting they're mounting three tvs and we'll have two of them girl we also opted to not get the TV mounts because they were going to charge us $800 for them when they're $40 at the Target. Um, so we didn't have the TVs nor the TV mounts. Like we have the curved TV, which is arguably like the most important TV, but we don't have the two other ones for the bedrooms. So um, right now we're at Target. Justin is getting gas and he's going to meet me at Target. And we also got to get like some bedding stuff. Um, yeah, let's just hurry up and go. Okay, back from Target. Justin ended up meeting me in Target. Got all the stuff. Spent like $340 something. dollars. Don't even want to talk about it, right? Okay, so Justin called me and he was like, so he said in some kind of way, like, we're going to have to get the TV. And I was like, yes, like we're going to the storage unit and we're going to get the TV. And he was like, no, baby, like the the curved TV that's at home, we have to get that and bring it to the new house because the movers aren't coming until two and the TV mining people are coming at 11. We have to get the TV. And I was like, ah. you're right. You're right. So now I'm waiting for him to meet me at the storage unit. He was literally right behind me. So I don't know why it's taking him an extra... 10 minutes to get here anyway it's fine um it's raining so i want him to drive slow and be safe so now we're at the storage unit we're gonna get the tv that's gonna go in our room and then he is claiming that he thinks that that 65 inch curved tv can fit in my back seat if it can praise the lord if not we'll see but this is him okay so update the 55 inch is here and it can you see that okay it's back there it barely fits in my car so i know good and well that the 65 inch is not gonna fit so i was like okay baby what if we just go to the new house unload all of the stuff that i have in my car stick it in the garage come back home lay my seats or come back to the apartment lay my seats flat and then do you think it would fit and he was like yeah absolutely so we're gonna go and try to do that really quick um because i don't even know if that's this or not but the tv man is texting me when i was in target and they were like hey like is it okay if we come early because we're already in the area how are you already in the area and y'all don't open until 8 a.m and y'all live an hour away that's crazy but it's fine i appreciate them for their punctuality and for letting me know that they were in the area and blah 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 like i i love that right but they were supposed to come 11 to 1 which is what we prepared for now it's like 10 something so we're kind of like racing against the clock trying to make sure that we can you know not waste these people's time um and that just make sure that we're getting everything done because moving is a lot and it's raining and so that adds like an extra layer of frustration to anything but i'm trying to just appreciate the day for what it is because this home is such a blessing this neighborhood is such a blessing our lives are so abundantly blessed so i don't want to like add more frustration to this day or add any frustration to this day really when there really doesn't need to be any um so yeah i'm also trying to make sure that i'm keeping my attitude in check because i don't know if i've ever told y'all this but moving gives me like the nastiest attitude on earth i don't know why i don't know why like moving is just such a frustrating process and we did it so much when i was younger but it was like so streamlined and easy because like obviously we have more bodies like me my sibling my mom my dad but i just oh i just hate i hate moving so i'm trying to just like be good about it today and like make sure that i'm keeping my attitude in check because nobody deserves to deal with me if i have a nasty attitude especially since after being in close proximity with so many other people today nobody deserves to witness me having a nasty attitude so now we're going to a new house and we're going to drop all the stuff off all right vlog here's an update justin and i were able to move the curved tv into the car and now we're heading back to the new house the current house i guess for our tv mounting appointment it's supposed to be at 11 right now it's 10 56. all right y'all this is jojo's first time being home Jojo, what is all of that, boy? Oh, wow, Jojo. He's so excited. I love it. Okay, you have to excuse the washer going. We have um, one of the blankets in the washing machine. But anyway, we went to T-Mobile today because we needed internet because the neighborhood that we live in they're like oh like we have free internet like you know don't worry about it but then i get here today and i see the leasing papers and like all the other like community documents and guidelines and hoa blah, 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 blah. so i see that they're like oh if you go through at and you get like one gigabyte of data or, or for internet for free and so i was like okay cool 
So I start doing like the whole AT&T process and they wouldn't be here until like Thursday of next week. Definitely need internet before then. So we went to T-Mobile because they have internet. And so we got it, we were getting it set up and I was like, I was telling Justin, I was like, we need a speaker. And the guy was like, this speaker is so freaking good. He's like, it's so good, so good, so good. So Justin played a song um, by the weekend. We were just like, oh, chill bumps. Bought it immediately. Bought it immediately. Um, so yeah, when I listen to like my true crime podcast, or if you want to hook it up to the TV, we can hook it up to the TV. Also, y'all look at the look at the living room setup. Like we're not done. We're not done, obviously. But like, how comfy cozy does this couch look? And then look at the TV mounted. Look at the TV, y'all. Tell me that it's not giving Galentine's. I love it. Justin's at work, so Jojo is still kind of sniffing at the house. He's just very unsure. Look at that tail wagging. He was just very unsure. He don't know what's going on, boy. So yeah, he's just kind of sniffing everything, kind of seeing where his boundaries are. Um, and he just looks so happy. I just love it. All right, vlog. So it's been a second since I picked y'all up, but pretty much all I did was do my NRP like pre-work, and it was really annoying. Um, but now Justin is home apparently in this neighborhood whenever there is really bad weather the lights go off and Since this is a smart home like when everything comes back on like things start talking and it's like very dystopian and very scary Anyway, here's the current state of the living room. Obviously nothing too exciting But Justin is in here and he is putting the bed together. Say hi, Justin hey, vlog. <laughs> And then Jojo's in here, and this is our bed that we got from Sam's. We're letting it inflate. Um, got the TV turned on, and we got the closet kind of set up. It looks a hot mess right now, um, but we're gonna put all of our clothes into this little dresser, and hopefully, eventually, everything will start coming together. All right, good morning, guys. It is Tuesday, February the 13th at 7:15 in the morning. This is our first get ready with me in the new house. Um, yesterday was not nearly as stressful as I thought it was going to be. It started off a little bit rocky, but overall, I feel like everything turned out really well. Um, everybody, like as far as like our servicemen ended up coming a lot earlier. So the TV mining guy, he came really early. And then also the movers, they came early, but they were just all so helpful. Oh my gosh, the TV mining guy, I was a little bit afraid to be like at home by myself with him just because like, for obvious reasons but thankfully he didn't make me feel awkward he wasn't super worried about anything he was actually a very very nice guy um, and the movers they were young guys which i don't know why i expected the movers to be like older gentlemen but they were not um and they were just very very quick which albeit i feel like we really didn't have a lot of stuff i still feel like they moved everything pretty fast um and then what else did we do we put our bed together and then I did the clothes in the closet while Justin was working on the bed. I did have to fuss at Jojo last night because I, Justin and I were going to get something to eat and I told Jojo, I was like, come on, let's get off the couch and let's go to our room. And so he like nestled and like hunkered down into Justin and I was like, no, like get off the couch. And so he just started like walking around the couch and like laying on different areas of the couch and I'm like, you're not listening. Like, what did I say? I said, get off the couch. And I said, let's go to your room. And he he just did it. He went, girl. I snatched that book so fast. And I started fussing. And I hate fussing. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. But, like, you're not you're just going to sit there and not listen to me on purpose. And Justin kind of gets his feelings hurt whenever I yell at Jojo because he just, you know, he hates it. But, like, dogs have to be disciplined. Like, sometimes you have to fuss at your dog. And it just is what it is. And so I fussed at him. And, you know, I put him in his room. And I closed the door. And we left. And we got something to eat. And then... And then we came back and finished eating. I, um, I told Justin, I was like, you can um, go in there and say goodnight to him and give him a treat if you want to. But, like, you know, I'm, I'm done with it. And so I'm in the shower, and our shower is glass, if y'all can see that. So I'm in the shower, and the door is open because, I mean, whatever, I'm married. And in Prince's JoJo, and he's just sitting at the base of the shower, and he's just looking at me. And I'm like, you are so supposed to be asleep. Like, what is happening right now? But anyway, um... I slept super, super good last night. I feel so refreshed. Um, I have NRP this morning, which is the neonatal resuscitation program or protocol, whatever. Um, pretty much like baby life support. Um, I like baby CPR. I don't know. I don't really know which one it is. Anyway, I have NRP today. So um, I'm not really the most excited about it just because I hate that it's scheduled on a day that I work. And I feel like that's the thing about like day shift. Like, Day shift, you can do your education sessions while you're at work, but if you're a night shift, you have to break your sleep and you have to come in 
when you're not even scheduled to work and like of course you're getting paid for it and you're getting your CE credits and whatever but like even still like that's frustrating to have to come in when you're not already at work like there should also be night shift educators I'm gonna, I'm gonna start making a little petition for that anyway I'm also over my hair being straight like I'm so so sick of it um it monsooned yesterday whenever we were moving so I feel like my hair is kind of already reverting look at that um i do want to go work out in some capacity today i don't know if that's going to be orange theory i don't know if it's going to be nine round because justin is coaching at nine round today um and usually um this one is pretty empty around the time that i would go so i'm just so over this straight hair it is not even funny okay i'm gonna burn my hair really quick and i'll come back i'm covering up the hospital logo but okay guys i am getting ready to go to my nrp class i'll see y'all later okay so we are back home i had my little nrp class and it was fine my best friend hannah was with me and she's also my preceptor um for my nursing orientation and it was fine like we were in the classroom for a second and then we went and we did like skills lab and pretty much like what we learned today was like if a baby comes out and they're not looking good not looking good as in like not breathing correctly like they're blue like their core is blue their mouth is blue um grunting retractions like all that not good stuff that we don't want to see in a baby how do you fix that as a labor and delivery nurse until nikki gets there right and then when nikki goes, does get there how does your role transition from a labor and delivery nurse to like a nikki or nurse practitioner assistant right so that's pretty much what we learned today we did a mock code it was fine i had 18 miles until e when i got in my car this morning so um I had to stop and get gas before work so then i got gas went there and then after that i had to stop by the old house to pick up some packages because i can i say this i feel like i can i have a shoot that i'm doing with mikey and i'm really excited about it and i'm supposed to be getting the product it was supposed to have already come but i i don't know if like there was a miscommunication with like the shipping or whatever so we don't know what the package is right now but i'm sure that mikey's gonna handle it because they are very 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 proficient um so yeah, I went to go do that, and then I went to Target to get some stuff, like some household stuff, and then I went to FedEx because it was on the way, and we have an entertainment center that's gonna go, turn the camera around so y'all can see, it's gonna go literally right there, and the only reason that we don't have a coffee table is because the couch is right there, and I don't feel like you need a coffee table and like an entertainment center. So that is currently in my car, and it is huge. It's gigantic. I'm gonna let Justin get it whenever he comes home from work. Um, and then I went to Sam's and we got a whole bunch of goodies. So literally we're going to be restocking the entire fridge from scratch. There's like meat and stuff over there. So we are going to go ahead and restock. Justin is like our restocking person usually, but he's at work. So obviously he can't be here to do it. Um, but I'm going to do my best. I will try to make him proud but this is the space that we're working with we also have a lot of cabinet space in this house can you see this right here there's also a pantry um it's that scared me so bad um there's a lot of space in here and then we also have a lot of overhead cabinet spaces you see so i'm gonna try to do this i'm gonna turn on true crime podcast which i'm ugh, this house is so big that it's like scary sometimes especially since like it's a smart home and I don't know, it just freaks me out sometimes. Anyway, I'm gonna listen to a true crime podcast and then I'll show you what this looks like after I'm finished with all of it. Okay, hi guys. So I have to go to work. Um, I had every intention to go to Orange Theory, but that ended up not happening because I was just so sleepy. And I feel like if I still have to work two days, like in order for me to be the best nurse that I can, that I can be to my patients, I definitely need to get some sleep. Um, so yeah, I had every intention to go to Orange Theory today. That just didn't happen. And you know what, that's okay. Um, Orange Theory is now also a lot farther away from our house since we don't live in Tuscaloosa anymore. And there's not one like closer to where we are than Tuscaloosa. So we still have to go to that one. And today would have been my 25th burn. Technically it's more than 25, but my like class thing got messed up a little bit. But anyway, today would have been my 25th burn. So I would have been able to take a picture with like the, the little Orange Theory sign, but it's fine. But it's whatever. I prioritize getting sleep over taking a picture because that picture will still be there when it is time um but yeah so tonight we're going to work so my schedule this like last couple of shifts has been i worked thursday friday saturday sunday i got off work on monday morning for my shift on sunday and then i guess i was off work on monday like i didn't have to go in on monday night but now i work tuesday and wednesday which is like 
And our schedule that we usually work is like every Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and then we work every third Saturday, but I guess they don't have enough nurses to cover Sundays, and so my preceptor stepped up and she was like, you know, me and Jay will help. So here we are, helping. <laughs> Before this, um, Hannah, my preceptor, I'm just going to start calling her Hannah. Y like, y'all know who I'm talking about. Hannah, she used to work, like, she used to have, like, four to seven days off. Like, n taking no PTO, just, just casually, four to seven days off, and it was awesome. But it's okay. Um, it's okay. I, I love my job, and it's not, like, going into work is, like, some, like, super hard, arduous task. Like, it is if I've had, like, you know, some kind of day. But I do my best not to take my life to work with me if that makes sense like if i'm having a bad day because i'm having a bad day like i don't want my patients to ever know that i'm having a bad day because you're already in the hospital you're already you know scared like i don't care if this is your 10th or 12th baby like you have some kind of reservations you're having some kind of anxiety about something whether it's the birth process or whether it's like what your life is going to look like when you get home like so i just never want to be that nurse that has a bad attitude. I had a patient recently, um, she was like, do you have any kids? And I was like, no, I always feel like I'm too young to have kids, but like realistically, like I know people come in here all the time, either younger than me or the same age as me, and they have kids, and I feel like, you know, they're also, you know, responsible and adult, but I just don't feel that way about myself. And she was like, you just have the cutest little baby face and your little baby nose, and when she did that, I was kind of triggered for a second because Justin is always saying that I have a baby nose and he does the exact same motion. Um, but she was like, I feel like you would just have beautiful babies because you're such a beautiful girl. And I was like, you just became my new best friend. Um, and I wish, I wish, I wish, I wish that I could like be friends with my patients because some of them are like just so cool, but it's like a breach of confidentiality. So can't do it. Like they can add me first, but I'm pretty sure it can't go the other way around. Like I can't add them first. So it's kind of sad, but it is what it is. Um, but yeah, she like she was really sweet, and she was like, "Nurses aren't like this, you know, like where I'm from." And I was like, oh, "I'm so sorry." Like both of my last two patients said that the nurses just like aren't nice to them where they're from, and their last experience with a nurse was a really negative one. So see, like in situations like that, like it's really important for me to like come in and you know just do my best and give my patients all I got. So yeah, we're working two days. Um, and then after that, I think I'm off for like four days. So that'll be a good time to like get the house together. Justin's also here. Say hey, Justin. Hey, Justin. Okay. I, I knew you were going to do that. I don't know why I had any expectations yeah, that that would have went any other way. You said me. You said you um, I'm going to grab a cookie cake, bro. A cookie cake? Yeah. I'm sorry? What are you talking about? Valentine's Day. <gasps> you got me a cookie cake for Valentine's Day? You're sweet. Yeah. Is it like a regular like chocolate cookie cake? I mean, it's a hard shape. I know what I'm saying. Like, is the base? Yeah, like, is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I ain't making it. <laughs> it was still good. We still ate it the last time. Yeah. I just didn't know. Like, I didn't know sprinkles meant like sprinkle overload. Nah, I ain't no birthday cake meant sprinkle. You know? Yeah, birthday cake. That's what it was. You finna go right now? Or, I mean, you wouldn't be here, or I have to get it, like... That's okay. That's okay. I'm, I'm not going to make you get a free little work. Tomorrow's Valentine's Day? Yeah. Hey, your gift's not going to be here in time. I, I knew but we knew that, yeah. We knew that. <laughs> we was already knowing. Yeah, I'm not right. Well, I mean, they go to 7, so... I'm not waiting to leave. Either. Yeah, I'm leaving at 16. Yeah, hey, bruh. That was a wet burp, Jojo. You throwing up on my carpet. That was horrible. He water. Oh. Did he eat his food? Was what is wrong with him? You may have to dump that out and give him some new food, because maybe that's what it is. Um, what was I saying? But yeah, so if we're gonna go to work tonight. I'm gonna finish my curly hair routine and I'll see y'all later. Alright guys, I'm going to work. I'll see y'all when I get back in the morning. Okay, hi guys, I'm off work. It was horrible, so I'm going to decompress for a second, uh, take a shower, and then I'll come back and I'll tell you everything I can tell you without HIPAA. So, okay, so here is a quick little rundown on the shift. So we had one nurse call in. One nurse was there for the beginning of the shift, but then she left because she was having um, like some symptoms that warranted going to the emergency department. So. 
she went to the emergency department was down there for a few hours and you know eventually she wasn't able to come back um and of course we were also concerned for her but um so before she left she needed an IV for a patient so I went in there and I started the IV and I got it on the first stick oh, I was so happy because her veins were literally so juicy and it was awesome and it just made me feel like such a good nurse to be able to stick and to only stick one time and I was also able to like practice my Spanish with her so I walked in and I was like hola mi nombre es Jesse tu enfermera esta noche and she was like Um, and then she started asking me like more complicated things in Spanish. Um, and so I had to get the, and well, the nurse ended up walking in. And so I told her that she was, I told her what she was trying to ask me, but like, I, I know what you're saying, but I can't think of the words to like give you an answer. So I told the nurse, the nurse got the interpreter on the phone. Um, and then I went to go see if any other nurses needed help. There was some triages, which was fine. Um. I had this one girl, oh my gosh, she was literally so sweet, like literally the perfect patient, um, but she wasn't in labor, so she went home, um, and then I ended up having my own patient because the night just ended up getting so crazy and so wild and just so out of hand, and of course, I am still in orientation. This is only my third week of orientation, and I have my own patient, which part of me feels like my orientation is going to end up getting cut short, or they're going to ask me if I want my orientation to be cut short. Realistically, if they ask me that, I'm probably going to say yeah, just because I know that our unit needs help and it's not like, oh, this is my first three weeks of labor and delivery ever. Like, that's not the case. Like, I've been working the same job, doing the same job for almost two years now, so I'm very familiar with it. The only thing that I'm a little bit insecure about is doing cervical exams, but the only way to get better at cervical exams is just to continue to do them because everybody's service is different. It's in a different place. It feels different. Um, but like you learn through practice and I got to practice that a lot tonight because again, I have my own patient. Um, my patient was super, super, um, or it's, she was super cute. She was very, very sweet. Um, I loved every second of having her. Um, and all of our spa patients, all of our patients ended up being Spanish speaking. And I was saying like how I absolutely love Spanish speaking patients. And I didn't say I wish we had more, but I was just thinking like anytime we get a triage, I'm like, oh my gosh, are they Spanish speaking and it ended up being where every patient on the floor was Spanish speaking and nobody spoke any English. So um, I was able to communicate with a lot of them and just like practice my Spanish a lot, which I feel like is really good. Um, but then I came, well, I went to Chick-fil-A. Um, Chick-fil-A has like heart shaped things today, which is really cute. Um, but yeah, I went to Chick-fil-A, came home, took Jojo out, had like some administrative paperwork to do for the house. So we did that. Um, and yeah, now I'm gonna go to sleep and then when I get up, we're gonna go to kickboxing. I'm up for the day. We're going kickboxing at Justin's job. So gotta find something to wear today. If I ever sit here and tell y'all that I don't have gym clothes, please sedate me because it's not true. Okay, so those are like all my gym shirts organized by like tank tops, well, tank tops, and then like the short sleeves and the long sleeves. And then all of these are my shorts. Like, girl, you got plenty. You got plenty. Um, I don't know what color I want to wear today. What are y'all thinking? What color? What color do I not wear a lot? I feel like I wear blue a lot, but I love blue. And I think I have blue shorts and a blue tank top. I have these shorts, and I think I just got a blue tank top. Y'all like this, or is this too matchy-matchy? I feel like it's cute. Yeah, let's go with this, because I feel like this is cute. I need to make sure that I wear a good bra this time, because last time I went kickboxing, girl, my titties were literally coming out of my bra. I was wearing like a very low impact bra. Stupid, I know. Okay, but let me get changed and I'll come back. Okay, so I just came back from Justin's kickboxing class, and it was honestly a really good class. I loved it. It was a lot. Well, I asked him, I was like, is this class easier than the other one? And he was like, no, like, it's it's not. And I was like, are you serious? Like, look at me in my face and tell me that you're being serious. And he's like, I'm being serious. Like, this class is hard. It wasn't as hard as I thought, but I'm glad that he told me that it was hard because it made me, like, build up myself mentally where I was thinking, like, okay, like, I need to make sure that I'm coming in here and that I'm putting in work and I'm not, you know, just lollygagging because it's only a 30-minute class, but let me tell you, you get your 30 minutes out of that class. I've also been drinking these protein shakes. I got them from Sam's the other day. They're, like, cinnamon roll. Y'all, they're like super, super good. I do my espresso or my Nespresso or whatever, so like two espresso shots, and then I just add this is like my milk and creamer. So good. So I won't see Justin anymore for the rest of the day because he doesn't get off until eight. So I had to say bye to him whenever 
we were training or like after we got done training and I did ask him if he could stop by Target because tomorrow is Jojo's second birthday and he's going to daycare and he goes to daycare on his birthday every year because I know that he loves that like more than anything so he's going to daycare tomorrow and I well we wanted to get him some like doggy ice cream to take with him to school and there's usually like 20 or so dogs so we're going to get a pack of 20 ice creams oh so excited okay my coffee is made this was literally so easy Justin made tacos last night so that's what I'm going to take with me for dinner um and then I have like a few snacks today is my last day um and then I think I'm off for four days so I'm excited hopefully it goes well but okay I'm getting ready to go to work I will see y'all later hey y'all so I got off work I am like dog mom to the max today's Jojo's second birthday and so I'm bringing these little doggy Ben and Jerry's ice cream cups to daycare today um for the other dogs to have them if their you know dog parents say that they're okay um but I'm gonna say Jojo daycare really quick and then we'll come back and we'll chop it up so we went to Target and we got a lot of stuff so we got Jojo some toys because today is Jojo's second birthday so let's see how he reacts Look. Where do mom go? Where do mom go for Jojo? Wow. Here, let mom cut it with some scissors. Look. Oh, that's so awesome. Well, it seems like he likes it. I'm gonna go put it in his room. Okay, so I feel like I haven't talked to y'all today, so I just kind of want to give y'all an update. I'm trying to remember how work went last night. Oh, so um, I had a C-section yesterday, <clears throat> and charting for a C-section is number one super repetitive and then number two it's just a lot longer than the vaginal delivery because not only do you have like more medical professionals but like it's a more specialized procedure so it was just a lot um and then after that we were supposed to have an induction but we switched patients um because we've done so many inductions and hannah is my preceptor so and i was just like we've done so many inductions like you're you're fine with inductions we need to start doing more like labors which I mean we did labors for two years but like it's a different scope of practice from being an extern to being an actual nurse um and kind of like everything being on you also one of the okay first of all y'all know that I have that partnership with Nike coming up right so Nike sent the stuff back in January but I had gotten it they were saying it was delivered I was like no it's not delivered and so I was like okay can y'all send me the tracking number so I can see got the tracking number and it was held at a FedEx like package pickups or whatever FedEx never sent me an email never sent me anything right so I got a FedEx yesterday before work and um I was like hey, I have a package to pick up and she, first of all she made me wait for literally 15 minutes and I already had to go to work she made me wait because she was having some conversation with some girl and then when she finally got to me she was like package number and I was like oh she said so I gave it to her and she was like, oh this has been sent back oh this has been sent back since you didn't want to come and pick it up it's already been sent back okay i can't come and pick something up if you don't let me know that it's there and the packing information still hadn't been updated or said that it's been sent back to the sender at all had it been sent back to the sender nike would have emailed vivian my manager and been like oh hey like the package was sent back weeks ago like you, do you know why so i don't know part of me feels like she just didn't want to look and that it wasn't actually sent back because that's happened to me before at the same fedex packaging center but she actually went back there to go look the first lady and like there wasn't anything there but this lady i guess i was talking to yesterday didn't feel like doing all that so whatever so now um we had to find an alternate plan for the nike campaign which is fine um so yeah that happened and then when i got to work like usually doctors are not the nicest to new grads especially in labor and delivery they're actually kind of hateful um some of them not all of them but some of them can be super hateful thank you baby I appreciate it um some of them can just be super hateful and one of the most hateful doctors last night I had one of her patients and she was just so rude to me on the phone and she was just just talking down to me and I'm not gonna go into what she said but it was just very rude very hateful very ugly um and I'm not like no I'm not like making an excuse for her or saying that it's right but I know that she treats people with such an ugly and a hateful manner because she probably hates something about herself that she can't change can't fix something about her life that she hates or can't change or can't fix when i go home i don't think about work like i don't bring my work home with me i give my patients everything that i have my 10 out of 10 every single day but when i come home that's it like i do my best to not take work home with me just because there aren't always positive outcomes in labor and delivery and sometimes it's really sad and i don't want that to I mean of course i feel it in the moment and i'll cry in my car i'll cry in the shower or you know whatever but to take that home with you is really really hard and i feel like that's why so many people get burnt out on labor and delivery because they do take it home with them but she 
honestly, that's not the first and the last time that she's going to be ugly to me. So I just kind of let it roll off my back. And then she started being ugly to other nurses and it was just a hot mess. But Justin made dinner. He made these burgers. They look so good, Justin. Is yours good? Oh, you've already... Oh. Okay. So we're going to eat dinner and then we're going to try to get this house together. Y'all, it is literally almost 5 o'clock. Justin, every Friday, he has workouts at 9 round at 5 a.m. And today they had a workout, obviously. Um, and we live really far <coughs> from Tuscaloosa, so he had to get up a lot earlier than he usually does um, just to get down there. And so I set an alarm for him. He also set an alarm for himself because last time he was late, and obviously we don't want that to happen again. Um, and so one thing about me is that like whenever I wake up, like when my alarm goes off, I can't go back to sleep. And so after he left the house, I wasn't able to go back to sleep at all, which kind of sucks. Um, so I stayed up, I was on TikTok, I read a book, I did some Duolingo, like I was just kind of up. And then I was like, oh, I miss Jojo. And so I went into Jojo's room down the hall and I went to go grab him. And I brought, well, I took him outside and then I put him in the bed with me. And we were laying down for a little bit and he ended up falling asleep. But I like kept reading my book, kept being on TikTok. And then eventually Justin came home from work and he was like, why are you awake? And I'm like, I just could not go to sleep. So I was up. Um, and then eventually we were able to go to sleep, but not before we started thinking about the fact that we may want to get another dog because we thought that it said in our lease that we could only have, um, one dog here, like in this neighborhood, uh, like one dog per home in this neighborhood just because of like weird, like HOA rules. Um, but our neighbor has two dogs and they're not like service animals because Yesterday when we were leaving, um, when I went to go and drop off Jojo to take him to daycare, she was like next to us and I could see like her driveway and her dogs were like going crazy whenever they saw Jojo and Jojo doesn't like retaliate like that. He just looks up at me and he was just sitting down and she was like, I'm sorry, like my dogs are so crazy and yours are so well behaved. And then I drove to daycare and when me and Justin were going to pick back up Jojo from, or Jojo back up from daycare, she was there. And then we both ended up getting home at the same time and I saw the same dog. So it's like, they're not service animals, like they're just regular dogs. So we were thinking about getting another dog. We saw some really cute ones from the animal shelter. Um, part of me really wants a golden retriever, but I feel like more than one golden retriever, I really want to adopt another dog just because Jojo was, was and is such a blessing to our life. But um, I just don't know if we're ready to have another dog. It's like people will say like when they have their first kid and their first kid is so easy and that pregnancy was so great that it tricks you into having another kid. And then your second kid is like a wild child. And Jojo right now, like he's a blue tick coonhound and they are known for barking and going crazy and going ballistic. Jojo doesn't do that. The only time Jojo will bark is when he's at the dog park. When he's at home and he wants to bark, he does it. And that's it. And that's him thinking that he is like just going crazy on you and like barking in your face and he's not. And all he does is, all, literally all he wants to do is sleep and be under you and that's literally it and i feel like if we get another dog like going through the puppy stage with jojo it felt like there was literally no end in sight like i called the animal shelter after having jojo for like a month and a half and i was like please come and get this dog back because i can't do it anymore and they were like no i'm sorry <laughs> deal with it thanks um but now he is like one of the greatest things that have ever happened to me and now he's chill and he don't give me a lot of problems but i don't know if i can say the same for another dog so TBD on getting a new dog, but we're gonna go ahead and run some errands and get some stuff for the house done, but I'm gonna let my camera battery charge for a little bit and then we'll go. All right, so we just went to Publix. Okay, I'm gonna tell y'all what we needed from Publix. We needed bacon, honey, Dawn Power Wash, command hooks for the pictures, flowers, mini trash bags, and Koneko. Please explain to me why we spent $263. The most expensive thing we got was like a Pyrex glass so that we can put like the baked spaghetti in the oven. Um, and the least expensive thing that we got was pasta sauce. It was 99 cent. But yeah. Moving is hard just because, and I was just telling Justin this, I feel like moving is hard because not only are you paying rent, but you're also getting like all new cleaning products. You're getting new bedding, new sheets. You're getting new decor. Thankfully, we didn't have to like buy a couch or anything. But it's like, it's so expensive. But I'm very grateful because I feel like our home is so beautiful. And we love it. And I swear, y'all, our bed has melatonin in it. Because there's no way me and Justin slept for that long today. And it's just so hard to get out of the bed because it's so comfy. Oh, it's so comfy. 
but we're gonna go to the old apartment and pick up some packages and then maybe even go to the gym tonight okay y'all so as soon as i took that last clip i got pulled over great so i got pulled over because he said that my front headlights were on but my back tail lights weren't on which if you watched the vlog a few weeks ago that exact same thing happened to me um but he didn't give me a ticket he just gave me a warning because apparently um like campus because we were around campus we went to the Publix in tuscaloosa just because it was just closer to where we were because we had to pick up um a package and it was, it was out there um campus is so well lit that people don't realize that their lights aren't on and then they get off onto like the main streets and um what was I gonna say? They get off onto the main streets and then they get in like really bad car accidents. So he just gave me a warning, which I really appreciate. And then we went to go pick up some packages from the old apartment. What was that? Where did it sound like it came from? Oh, not our problem. Now. Um, but yeah, so he just gave me a warning ticket. We went to go pick up some packages from the old house. Justin got his Valentine's Day presents for me. Did you open your shoes? Oh, I did. Oh, I, <laughs> I got him some new Hoka Rikon 3s. They're in red because his like nine round stuff is red. Um, and he pretty much wears all black 24-7. Case in point. Um, yeah, you got caught. You got caught. Anyway, so I got him that. And then I got him some stuff from Gymshark. And then also when we were at Publix, we got some flowers. Because we're going to be flower people now. Jojo, nobody was talking to you. Nobody was talking he to that. Leave him alone. Nobody was talking to you. Um, are we gonna get a dog or no? Five, four, three, two, one. Yeah. We're gonna get a dog. When? Not tomorrow. You being for real? You just playing? Yeah, so serious. But what if they don't have um? What if they got dogs like uh? What's his name? Oh, what's his name? It's like Bolt or something. What is it? What's his name? Tell me his name and I'll try it. Spock. Spock, yeah. Spock was not a cute dog. I wish I had my phone somewhere. I would show you what Spock looked like. Is it nasty? It's better than the... Yeah, it's drinkable. It's like, oh, oh well. Yeah. Yeah, it's not like... It's not like, oh, like the last one was. Okay, well, we may or may not be getting a dog tomorrow. We will be waiting the pros and cons. Um, because that's crazy. A dog, Justin? Do you not want to get one? I mean, I do, but I'm also thinking about, like, how hard it is to have a dog. True. Like, JoJo is fine, but... I don't know. What do y'all think? Should we get a dog? They're not going to leave an answer. They are. And the next week vlog will be like, we got a dog. I don't know. We'll see. I'll let y'all know. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much the end of this vlog. I guess I guess I can give y'all a quick little overview of the house as far as like what it looks like. It's not anything crazy just because we haven't really been doing anything. We're still in the process of like cleaning and putting stuff up, but I'll still show y'all. Okay, so here's the kitchen. We have a pantry right here, but there's like not really anything in it. Um, and then we have the fridge. It's a double-sided fridge. It has like all our drinks, protein shakes, fruit. Oh my gosh, I used this spicy ranch yesterday because we had burgers and french fries, y'all. It is so good. Um, and then you have the freezer and it pretty much has like all of our breakfast stuff, um, like all of our seafood. And then we have this cabinet and it's pretty much just like the restock on all of our drinks whenever we need them to go back into the fridge. Are you making my pre-workout drink? Yeah. Thanks. And then we have this cabinet. It's like the st Did you get barbecue Doritos? You like? Sweet and tangy barbecue. Okay. Um, this is like our little snack cabinet. And that glasses and cups, all the other stuff is in there. Here's a JoJo. And then we have our laundry room. Excuse our laundry room. We're in the process of doing laundry. Couch. We're going to get some new pillows now because it's not Valentine's Day. We still haven't figured out what we're going to do with this space yet just because I really want to get a computer and put it right here. But like realistically, how often are we going to use that? Probably not much. So don't know about that. Um, here's our bed. It's not made. We're going to put like some pictures and stuff on the wall. 
and then here is the bathroom y'all are literally in here every day and then you got the closet i feel like i've showed y'all the closet but i also feel like i haven't showed y'all the closet um this is where all of justin's pants go and then these are all of my pants shorts and then all of my shoes from zappos i will do my best to give y'all a better house tour next week just because next week we'll have like more of our furniture stuff it'll be super clean it'll also just be like more interesting to look at also justin built these bedside tables last night and i think they're so freaking cute we got them from amazon and this isn't like a drawer it's like a cabinet really cute and we have them on both sides jojo are you following me sir and then y'all know we got that little house speaker um also we have to end up getting at&t oh let me back that up we're gonna end up having to get the AT&T Wi-Fi instead of the T-Mobile Wi-Fi, number one, because it doesn't work with our home security system, and then number two, it doesn't work with Justin's game, so the AT&T tech is gonna be out tomorrow, um, and that's pretty much it. I feel like this week hasn't been as stressful as I thought it was gonna be, so that's a positive, positive. and I love our new house. Justin, how do you feel about the move? I mean, you pretty much summed everything up. It wasn't nearly as stressful as I thought it was gonna be. Um, and having the internet do come out is a little, you know, annoying, but you know, necessities we need scary. Um, yeah, and I'm ready to start decorating a little more. Yeah. Um, what's your favorite part of the house? Uh, I like the bed. I do like the bed. I also like the kitchen, though. The kitchen is nice. Yeah, yeah. I think... I have the kitchen. Yes. I think my favorite part of the house is the bathroom because it's like, I don't know, it's just nice. But okay, guys, I hope y'all enjoyed spending the week with us. Be kind to yourselves. Be kind to others. I love you.